What up boys and girls, welcome to a brand new video on the channel and today we're going to take a look at the best settings to use in Season 3 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Season 2. If you want to see me play live, all my links will be down below, including my Twitch link. And yeah, let's go right into the settings. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so now we're on the game in the settings. We're going to first go over controller settings. So I play on a controller. Um, I use, if you watch my last settings video, I use a name controller. Link will be down below. Use code SK for like a little discount as well. It has like four paddles on the back. I only used one at the moment for jumping. It's uh, yeah, and the most quick triggers and everything. So it's like a modus controller, you know, like all the other ones that you have. I play on tactical and I shoot with the R1, not the R1, I shoot with R2 and L2 because I have like most quick triggers for the best response time. Um, Stick letters default, color blind, uh, color, controller vibration off, trigger effect off. I play on 2020. For the people that watch my streams or my videos, you may know. Max Sense, 180S. Uh, I play auto text sprint as well, just to move a little bit more faster and fluent through the map. We all know this game is very sluggish, so this makes my movement go a little bit better, you know, than clicking the sticks in 24 7. Uh, prioritize interact. If you play Mono for multiplayer, though, Tap reload is the better way, but I play mainly Warzone lately, so yeah. Advanced tap, target aim assist on, aim assist type default, dynamic, ADS still one, insta ADS sensitivity timing. Uh, that sounds, this is gonna make a little bit of difference on your controller, but I use 0 on the left, I use 0 0.5 on the right. This controller is like 4 months old, it's brand new, so I don't really have any stick drift. If if you actually want to have like a really good dead zone, start off with zero and then the, and then go back to the game if you're in the shooting range or in an actual game and keep upping it until your stick stop moving. Mine didn't move anymore on four, but I just put it on five just to get uh, just the default in it. I always set it to five for the new controller. Uh, 70 on the left and 99 on the right. Left and right trigger. I don't really care what I put it on because I have like most click triggers. But if you have no most like triggers like I do, just put it on zero and zero for like the quicker response time as well. Uh, and this is all. You can pause if you want. I don't really change anything on this. All these gyro settings, by the way, turn it all off. It fucks with your aim. Um, oh, here and actually a good one: a grown mantle, automatic mantle, and automatic grown mantle. Put them all off. You're not gonna like mantle like weird objects when you try to jump shot someone and stuff like that uh inverted as well so your uh, your hold becomes like a slide and tapping the crouch button become your dive diving is a lot more efficient in this game than sliding sliding is kind of useless don't get me wrong diving is kind of useless as well uh plunge freely underwater is really good as well just to like move a little more fluid when you're uh swimming and yeah that's kind of it if you want to take uh screenshots pause the video Graphic settings, I play full screen exclusive, everyone play it. Some people play borderless because they tap out 24-7, I personally don't. Um, I, I'm gonna just quickly go over it, like you can pause it if you want. It's all basic, it's literally all low, like you can see in a bit here. A render resolution always 100, fidelity, fidelity cast as well, 100 as well. And then yeah, everything is quite low though, memory, memory scale is a 90, if you experience like stutters and all that put it all the way down to 50 you know that helped me i think it's reset it with the new update now and then yeah i will go over it it's all low if you want to take a screenshot pause it again go ahead i'll link actually like um an fps boost guides down below as well from like one of my pc optimizationers free fee yes like a really good video for this game in warzone so yeah apply and then yeah fov i play max fov affected uh wide as well some people use narrow default i don't know white it's just i don't know it looks the best uh i don't play third person and then this you need to put all as low as possible all right and then for the settings something really quick that i can show you boys and girls if you are playing on pc this is not for console go to your uh, headphones click on it sounds Go to playback device, find the input that you get your audio through, properties, in enhancements, and then put it on lowness equalization and then apply. 
if you play Warzone ranked play, the OD on this game is shit. I'm not gonna lie. But with this, you can actually zone toward people so easily. And I don't know, it's just it's just a lot more better. So yeah, let's get back into the game though. So now we're in the game for the audio. I play on PC audio. I used to do this because loadness equalization. But if you don't have that option or you don't want to use that option, headphone base boost is probably the best one. 100. If you want to take a screenshot again from this, these are my uh, other like audio settings. And I use an Astro A40 as well, TR with the mix and. I maybe will put like screenshots of my um, settings in the Astros on the screen. So yeah, let's now go over to the last and final part of the video. And that's interface. Um, nothing really to show you boys and girls here though. But if you go to color customization, this is what I play on. The last video was a little bit different. I play filter 2, both 100-100. And then this, I used to put the enemy on actually green. And I'm not just gonna lie. You can do that if you play multiplayer. But I play Warzone, so I don't really need it that much anymore. And the other tip that I can give you all as well is if you go to... Where was this again? Uh, not this one. To make it a little brighter. Like if you do bright like this, I mean. Then apply color. But if you... If you just put it like bright, bright, and you go back, it doesn't actually um, apply on the game. Yeah, I think uh, that's about it. All right, that's that's about it for the graphic settings and the controller settings here on MW2 slash Warzone 2 in Season 3. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like, subscribe if you're brand new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.